This is the most easy way for you to install extreme firmware on your Flipper Zero. So let's just talk about that pretty easy in this video. So I already connected my Flipper Zero to my computer, as you can see, with a USB cable, the one that actually followed, I think, with the Flipper Zero. Now, if you have QFlip open, as I do actually right now, just to show you that, you need to close it. Because what you need to do now is to go to the website called flipper-x3.m. <laughs> it's Flipper Zero Extreme. I'm going to post the URL for that in the description below so you don't miss anything out. Go ahead and visit that link, connect the Flipper Zero to your computer, click install, click connect, choose that you have something on the COM port. Now, mine say COM3, right? Yours can be different. It doesn't really matter. At least that you can see something like Flip Flip or something like that. Click connect. Now the Flipper Zero will effectively be connected to the website. What you need to do now is basically just to click flash and that's going to flash the newest firmware from Extreme on your Flipper Zero. Be aware that if you click the flash button, it's going to take a while for the Flipper Zero to be installed. Now, a few things that can happen that doesn't mean that this failed is that your Flipper Zero looks that it's done, but it keeps saying around this area where I panel the mouse cursor back and forth, left and right, left and right. It might say something like Flipper Zero is connected or device still connected, don't disconnect and so on. If your Flipper Zero says it's done, it is done. You just disconnect the cable and then that's it. The most easy way to install extreme firmware is this way. I can not find any easier way to do it. You can even read the added new features. Now, if you want to use the new the added JavaScript functionality for Flipper Zero, you need to go with the original firmware, which you can install directly through in the Q Flipper. The Q Flipper app looks just exactly like this. Now it's permission denied because you actually connected it to the website. Now, what you need to do now is to close the website, reinitialize, or just wait a bit, and you're going to connect back to the queue flipper, and then you can, well, basically install the original firmware. So for now, I'm going to leave you to install extreme firmware on your Flipper Zero. See you out there. Mm -hmm.